What is up beautiful people? My name is Phil Song and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm going to talk to you guys about my tips in surviving college. Now, this is just my personal experience and kind of what I've learned through college. So I'm not an expert guys. So take my advice with a grain of salt. You know, just don't blame me if anything happens. All right. So just a little bit of backstory. Um, during high school, had no idea what I want to do with my life. Didn't really care about school, didn't really care about college. And then my dad had the great idea of why not just be a pharmacist. You make good money. That was mainly it. You, you make good money, so, so why not? So I went to a small school called Sanford in Birmingham, Alabama. Had no idea anything about this school. Did not even know, know it was a religious school. So decided to try pharmacy after a year. I hated it. It was awful. Learning chemistry, biology, it was not the same compared to high school. So, switched majors, went to accounting, did not like that either. Doing income sheets, balance statements, it was a lot. Switch over to finance. I thought to myself, okay, finance isn't a bad route. Then I decided I want to be a financial advisor, help people with their financial goals, and got a job in that after graduating. After two months, Hated it. It was more of a sales job, just wasn't for me. And then I had a concentration in data analytics as well. So I decided to dive into that, got my master's in applied data science, and now I am a senior insight analyst. Now, the first tip that I kind of want to share is kind of be open minded when you get into college. And the reason for that is. For some people, there are some people who know what, exactly what they want to do. They already have a game plan and they're already set in stone. That's good. For those of you like me who had no idea what they wanted to do, it's good to have an open mind and to try to broaden your horizons. Um, I, in each major, I try to do it for a full year just to see because obviously you're going to have hard times in college. It's going to be tough. Classes are going to be hard. You're going to have a bunch of exams but I wanted to dedicate and make sure that, let me try it for a year. If I don't like it, or it, I don't see myself doing it for um, after college and you know five, 10 years from now, then it's not worth it to me. I did that with pharmacy, accounting, and then I decided to stick with finance. So, but I don't have any regrets in trying those fields, even though it was a lot and I had to figure out what I really wanted to do. I was grateful enough to have that experience and to actually test out and test myself to see if I can handle the situation because it would have been worse if I stuck with it or I tried to push myself more than what I you know, could handle and then I just be in a job that I'm super unhappy with. So I would say keep an open mind and that's not just in school in your classes as well. Um, the biggest thing, um, I, the mentality I had was kind of the yes man mentality. Now, if you don't know the movie, Yes Man, is about this guy, spoiler alert, it's about this guy who basically said no to anything, you know, whether if it was a certain opportunity, um, anything at work, he would just always say no, just deny, deny, deny. And then he went to kind of a conference, stumbled upon a conference, and the whole mentality was just say yes to everything and good things will come. And he took it literally, he said yes to everything, but for him, good things did come because he was exploring these different opportunities that he didn't realize were gonna happen. And that's just kind of the open-mindedness that I had um, when I first went to college as a freshman because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's the right or wrong move, but this is where I can make my mistakes and just explore. So I would always say yes if someone invited me to an event or a certain opportunity. And that actually led me to join a fraternity. And I joined Lambda Chi Alpha at Sanford and it was the best decision I ever had. And it changed my life. A lot of the brothers that um, I met during in the fraternity, I'm still close with to this day. One of the one of my good friends who actually recruited me into the fraternity, I was the best man at his wedding, so super grateful for that. So if I was closed-minded and was so inclined to say no to everything, then I wouldn't have that opportunity of meeting such great people and having such unbelievable experiences. So I would say in college, have an open mind, you know, 
have fun, you don't know what to expect, and you just don't want to have any regrets because this, the college experience you're never going to get anywhere else really. Um, being with a bunch of random people in your same position who don't know what they're doing as well and you guys are just kind of exploring and figuring out together and that's kind of you create a bond and certain memories with that and you just it's just to have a good time and you know you can kind of reminisce on the good old days when you guys had no idea what to do you guys in college you know you're broke you're just you know just trying to make ends meet and just trying to survive basically but those are the kind of best times and best stories that I like to talk to my friends about so that's kind of my tip and the second tip that I would like to give to you guys is have a healthy work and personal life balance now obviously going to college is basically a job now you're not getting paid for it and you're paying a lot of money to be in school but that should be your indicator of you should take this seriously you're paying a lot of money thousands of dollars to get a certain education so you should obviously try show up and do the best that you can but also you do not want to burn yourself out where you're just focusing on studying you know studying for exams and things like that you should always attend you should always make sure that school is a priority but at the same time have fun as well and give yourself time to kind of decompress and relax and that kind of personal life again leads to those personal opportunities whether it's joining a greek life whether it's joining a club you know some people meet their you know college sweethearts like that so you don't want to miss out on those opportunities because you don't want to get burned out at school and also you don't want to focus too much on your personal life because you don't want to go out be partying doing all this and then fail out of class because that is the main reason why you are there so to have those two good balances to complement each other i think that is the healthiest way healthiest thing to do for you know your mental sake because it could be a lot if one is just overpowering so that is kind of my second tip and I had a kind of a third tip, but it's just more of an encouragement for you guys who are just starting out in college, still in college, or thinking about going to college, and that is everything is going to be okay. And obviously that might be bad advice for some, it's basically, I just tell people, you know, just don't be stressed. Don't be stressed. Everything is going to work out. I always say good things happen to good people, and as long as you are putting in the work and trusting the process it's going to work out it might not work out in the plan and what you have envisioned but everything happens for a reason and everything will slowly come along as you you know move on in your journey and it's all about those baby steps as long as you're moving forward and not taking too many steps back that's the most important thing and yeah it was kind of hard for me to kind of figure that out and because i know college can be very stressful um it is a lot and you know there's a lot of things that can happen whether it's in college or personal life things like that but don't stress out too much and everything is going to be okay hope you guys enjoy this video sorry i'm just trying to make this quick i know my videos are long but Appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments what more you guys want me to talk about. Um, like and share. Until the next one. Peace.